As the name implies, MMA fighters often combine two or more martial arts in order to handle all combat distances. And, when it's time to close the distance, for most, the sole answer is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a reliable system that covers all their ground and submission needs. For a few others though, there are alternatives. One of these, the uncelebrated, Brazilian Luta Libre, a submission art not only, of remarkable historic protagonism but ahead of its time in terms of technical depth. Specifically developed as a nogi system, this catch wrestling based martial art, doesn't just incorporate wrestling to the ground game, but was rather conceived as wrestling with submissions from every angle. While numerous fighters have been born and raised in it, it has been also adopted by some in jiu-jitsu, looking to expand their games in areas like leg locks and takedowns. It's also true that many Brazilian fighters actually came from Luta Libre, and later moved to bigger BJJ teams or camps. Whatever the case may be, there are world-renowned fighters who continue to preserve and represent this martial art. In today's video, 5 MMA Fighters Who Are Luta Libre Black Belts Marco Ruas Considered one of the most complete fighters of the 1990s, Marco Ruas is a Pride FC, UFC and WVC veteran. One of the biggest wins of his career came at UFC 7, when he defeated all of his three opponents on the same day, one of them by heel hook, to become the tournament champion. He is a ninth degree red belt in Luta Libre under the late Roberto Leitao, who is one of the most important figures in the history of Luta Libre. Ruiz also served as coach to heavyweight fighter Pedro Rizzo, who is also a fourth degree Luta Libre black belt. Rosimar Palhares This Brazilian top team standout and UFC veteran, consolidated himself as one of the best leg lockers in MMA. Besides being a BJJ black belt, Paul Harris is also a Luta Libre black belt. According to his training partner, Milton Vieira, the one who polished up Toquinho's footlocks was the late Geraldo Pias, who was a footlock specialist from a Luta Libre background. José Aldo Considered at one point one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, José Aldo went to become the first UFC featherweight champion. Besides being a BJJ black belt, the striking phenom is also a Luta Libre black belt, under Marcos Ruiz and Roberto Leitao. Coincidentally, Aldo's only submission loss early in his MMA career, came at the hands of fellow Luta Libre black belt, Luciano Azevedo. Renato Babalu Sobral Babalu's career started in the late 1990s, with great success in the last days of Volatuto tournaments. Having competed at the highest level for most major MMA shows, he has consolidated himself as one of the true greats of the sport. In 2008 he went to become the second ever Strikeforce light heavyweight champion. Babalu is a Luda Lever black belt under Marcos Ruiz and Roberto Leitao. Jesus Calvacante Jay-Z is highly regarded as one of the most talented and complete lightweights of the 2000s. And that you was uh, Calvacante too, right? Jay-Z Jay Calvacante, yeah. that, that was a big issue with him. Like, yeah. Back in the day, people were saying he was the best 155-pounder alive. Like A lot of the guys that trained with him. Yeah. Even though he fought for most top MMA promotions, some of his biggest success was in Japan where he captured several titles, including the 2006 and 2007 K1 Hero Championships. In his Instagram, we found a publication of one of his early Luda Libre tournaments, where we can spot Milton Vieira, Babalu, and other prominent Luda Libre fighters. Jay-Z is to this day an active competitor. He trains with some of the best grapplers in the world. And continues to promote and expand the art of Luta Libre. Don't forget to check out the new Brazilian Luta Libre t-shirt from Gotch Fightwear. The links are in the description or visit gotchfightwear.com. This video was produced by Didos and the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Join the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Visit our official website at submissionwrestlingarts.com.